गुड मॉर्निंग हैप्पी टू मीट यू इन दिस कॉम्परेशन क्लास द टाइटल ऑफ द लेसन टूडे इज द ट्रेशर ऑफ ऊर चैप्टर ट्वेल्व पेज थर्टी सेवन वॉट इज दिस ट्रेशर ऑफ ऊर and where is this place called u u is a name of a very ancient city or town in sumerian culture today they say it is in iraq near the river euphrates and it is in the south of mesopotamia what is this specialty about ur it is a place of excavation bringing the sumerian culture to zenith exposing the sumerian culture to the world as one of the famous ancient civilization many europeans have explored in this region mesopotamian region and rediscovered so many things one famous thing rediscovered was ziggurat it is a temple of huge and tall structure on top it has got a flat space and it has also inbuilt steps where you can climb and the early people used to offer sacrifices so that god above can receive them and today probably those is also if you climb mount them you can have a overall view of the city and surrounding so the first thing known from this excavation is this temples ancient temples excavation already began in 19th century and 18th century and one renowned british archaeologist c leonard woolley have given the following details so the next excavation reveals or talks about the royal tombs at ur even for us it is something peculiar and strange there are about 1800 burials discovered and 16 of them are based on a royal background they are distinct in structure and wealth as well so when these royal tombs were rediscovered 
there were few other loyal servants buried together with this famous persons of course there were so many valuable autographs and articles it is said when some of these royal people died their servants so faithful to the masters and mistress wanted to die with them and be buried with them so they consumed poison one of the royal tomb discovered is of the tomb of queen buyabi this tomb was found very intact many others were mishandled or thieves attempted to excavate them and take them of their wealth but this one somehow escaped it was more deep inside so when this was excavated <coughs> there was a chamber at the bottom a dead pit where this queen biabi was not exactly buried but laid on a wooden pier her name was written in her hand in a form of cylindrical seal it was carved in kani form a wedge shaped character it could be the language of sumerians probably the world's first written language she was totally decorated by various ornaments jewelries the most famous one was you can see in this page 37 a crown is all with the precious metals so there are gold leaves ribbon strands of lapis lazuli lapis lazuli is a type of shiny metaphoric rock a precious stone in other words used for jewels so there are so many things like necklace crystal shaped earrings chokers comb of gold then what uh, like the chain type canelian with canelian beads all these are there and suya basta is a white transcendent gypsum carved with various pictures so these were so many precious things found there there were some ornaments in their waist body neck all the fingers with the rings with the precious metals so it is something interesting and what is a little disturbing is about the number of people buried in the tomb 
in different places. There are about 15 people, 5 armed men and 15 attendants, totally 20 people. These attendants were most of them women. They were also equally <coughs> decorated with the ornaments, less expensive, less decorated, but they were also having ornaments. And there were, there were boxes or like cupboards where the clothes were kept and the clothes are no more. But otherwise, the clay vessels, metals, stones, articles of these materials were found intact. Now, these archaeologists of Britain, Leonard, Uli have given us this text to understand some reality of the excavation. If you read and read again, you will understand better. I have explained sufficiently. And uh, do the exercises. Thank you.